Today we're gonna make lard. So leaf lard is the key. We don't want the lard between the skin and the fat. Leaf lard mm. and um, ginger. I'm supposed to use uh, garlic, uh, not garlic, uh, green onion, but I ran out at home. So if you have that, use that. And the green part or the white part? White part is ideal because that's the use to get rid of the piggy smell. Oh, you can get those ready, like already made in store, but uh, they usually render, we're rendering lard. So they usually render in oven and just put it in and stuff. And it usually ends up, I think, still pretty piggy smell. So that's why I do that at home and uh, with a blanch and uh, some stuff to get rid of that unpleasant, stinky smell. And here I have Sichuan pepper water. Again, ideally you have a pepper corn, but I run out at home. So I have pepper, uh, Sichuan pepper powder. Uh, powder. Yeah, I make uh, some tea, Sichuan pepper powder tea. You made an infusion with a little disposable, fully compostable tea bag. Yes, and uh, white vinegar. That's pretty much it. Let's boil some hot water for the blanch. So we boil some hot water, ideally with a green onion and ginger bowls. Once it's uh, bring to a boil, we put in the... The, the Sichuan peppercorn Sichuan tea? peppercorn tea, that's right. And Leaf this lard. is, none of this is flavoring, right? This, no, this is this for, isn't just, to, just to get rid of that quote unquote stinky yes. smell of the, yeah. the piggy smell of the lard. Yes. So it's a, basically it's a blanch, like how we handle meat. Boil and we're not going to cook this. Just give it it's everybody a, a little one, right? So we got about blanch. a kg here, I think, if I recall. Oh, our light is really red. Uh, then give everybody a little chance in the water to, you know. Get the effect. Yeah, put a the... little bit of uh, vinegar. All of the stuff we're putting today are, has nothing to do with flavors and stuff. It's just to help get rid of the piggy flavor. I call that piggy flavor. Just that unpleasant, you know? It's piggy stink. Yeah. Reminds me of, uh, reminds me of where they eat. Ooh. Visual. Visual. Okay. I don't have to bring that to the boil. Let's get that out. Yeah, the water had already boiled, right? Mm -hmm. So I put the walking on medium, get rid of the ginger or green onion, just put in all the, um, uh, the larding. I do that usually just with the lard. Some people like to put water in it, like oh. for even heating. Uh, it, it definitely works, like uh, there's nothing wrong. Eventually, once the water go high, we'll just get rid of the That's so interesting. Temperature we, go high, the water will evaporate, right? Right, when we first did this with the blanch, I was really nervous about spitting. So um, that's kind of interesting, very interesting. So it's not a big deal, I guess, because it slowly comes up, right? Yeah, as long as it even heat it, right? I never had trouble with that, so. Okay. You sizzly. Mm. So initially you can use medium to high heat because there's lots of um, water because we blanch or if you put a bowl of water with lots of water so you can put the heat high for faster rendering. I'm just going to put medium high and again put in the vinegar. It will all evaporate because it's Boiling point? How do you say that in English? Yeah, boiling Evaporating point. Evaporating point? Anyway, that thing is The boiling quite, point of water is... Uh, of vinegar is quite low. Oh. So you wouldn't have tartness in the eventual, the final lard and it will help kill the smell. Actually, you can see really smell the difference with doing that uh, blanch and vinegar vis-a-vis -vis not doing otherwise uh, when you render the far uh fart <laughs> the lard it will already be really stinky
Wow. The light looks, uh, this is a really golden brown. It's not yet. It's still pretty pale in real life. Uh, once the, the large nuggets are <laughs> covered in oil, uh, I mean fat nuggets. Once the fat nuggets are covered in oil, it's time to lower the heat uh, to usually low and give it a gentle stir every now and then. And it takes a while till it's a real golden brown in real life. So once the uh, little fat or fat nuggets are about like a golden brown, very red here, but it's golden brown. And let's just turn off the heat and uh, fish those nuggets up. Those are somewhat delicious. I'm going to warn you now. <laughs> Those are actually very we use delicious. them to cook, which is really clever. Yeah, because uh, to make the lard whitish, you don't want it to be overly dark in color. You have to stop before they become too burnt. Wood, they still have the fat in it. So sometimes mm. I just uh, use them to cook and uh, squeeze them. Yeah, and they still give off a bit of oil, right? Yeah, yeah. But they also remain in the dish and they're pretty yummy too. Oh, very delicious. Very delicious. At least we love it. Anyway. And uh, let the, now is the oil is quite hot. So I usually let it cool a bit before it congeals into solid. Put that in the jar or anything. And you can put this in the fridge. It's a really handy, uh, uh, form of oil because it would be solid if mm. you travel somewhere to like camping and stuff you need oil I feel like this is very easy you put that in the cooler and it's solid you don't have to worry about, about spill. leaks and everything yes, getting yeah. greasy and yucky yeah. yeah and also very healthy cooking oil and super delicious it really adds flavor if you are yeah. having really um, veggie heavy diet like we are we always stable like to as have. well, really stable. Mm. Last for a long time. Won't go Don't. rancid for a long, long time. Yeah. Relative to oil. So this is the finished lard. Hmm. Look pretty white in person. Looks better than the camera. It's a little bit dark, but what do you say? I can't wait. To use it to cook. White beautiful lard. White beautiful lard for stir fry, for pastries, mm. everything. I always say for pastries, but I have yet to oh. use it for a pastry. And mm. it smells very good. It smells great, yeah. Dun, dun.